It has been really popular. Um, the word that keeps coming to mind and to people that are calling me is addicted. People are addicted to the camera. I think it's new for folks. I, I, putting cameras in nests is a relatively new um, phenomena and people are not used to being able to look right into the life of a bird on a daily, daily and even minute by minute basis and see what is going on inside of the nest. And it's our national symbol. I think that really has a strong connection with people, that it's our national symbol. And they, they are kind of cute. We're learning a lot, and it's important so that we know um, what we can issue permits for, what time of the year we should be issuing permits for, um, what kind of behaviors the birds actually use, what their diet is. Their diet is important to know, um, especially because a lot of people think that possibly eagles are going to attack their dogs or cats or things like that. This is proof that they are usually just eating fish. Her band uh, told us that she was at the Raptor Center for Rehabilitative Care in 2009. Um, she did not have bands when she went into the Raptor Center, but when she left, the Raptor Center does band all of their rehabilitated birds so that they know which ones were there. And her uh, age was about a year old at that time. In 2010, she was banded, so she was about a year old and she became of breeding age then, probably last year. We are very grateful for all the donations that people have been sending in. Um, we just want to thank our public so much for making those donations for whatever amount that they can. We would love to put more cameras in more nests, maybe an osprey or an owl cam or a bluebird cam, something like that, um, but it all takes funding and we need these donations because we are 80% funded by donations. <laughs>